What's up guys, it's your boy MTZ. You already know, we're here in LA for WrestleMania weekend. And I'm here with my friend from Connecticut, uh, Brian Dully. We're actually gonna be talking about WrestleMania. Uh, the two nights we did go to two, both nights. And we're gonna talk about how how we felt about him. And here he comes right now, guys. Brian Dudley, he's coming in right now. So guys, stay tuned in, guys. So watch out. What's up, guys? It's your boy, MTZ. You already know, we're here for WrestleMania. Well, we actually already went to WrestleMania. It was actually a great night. You know, I'm here with my boy, Brian Dudley from Connecticut. I met him at WrestleMania 38 in Dallas at at t Stadium. We sat right next to each other. And we also met some other two good people uh, who couldn't come as well. But hopefully we see them next year. Hopefully I can go next year. But we're gonna talk about WrestleMania this year, how it was for my boy Brian Dudley, and how it was for me too, in my opinions. And we're actually gonna show you some clips of some WrestleMania videos we took as well. So you guys can see how WrestleMania was live. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, Brian. So I know you've been to a lot of WrestleManias. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I know you've been to a lot of WrestleManias before. Um, how many WrestleManias have you been to, Brian? Let me see. So my first one was 29 in 2013. Um, so I went to 29, skipped 30 and 31. Uh, I went to 32, 33, 34, 35. I supposed to go to 36, but you know it got canceled. Uh, so 37, 38, 39. But that's eight in wow, total. That's really awesome. You know, I've only been to three in total, which is uh, WrestleMania 37 and WrestleMania 38 and WrestleMania 39, which is this year. Cody Rose versus Roman Reigns. I actually want to talk about that. What happened about in that match? Because that match was like, it was going crazy. But we're actually going to talk about that later. But, you know, what makes this WrestleMania different from last year's WrestleMania? Um, <clears throat> well, it's always hype, but I said the hype was a little bit different because, you know, going in, you was thinking, you know, you had the hype for Cody backing him up, you know, uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, you had the hype for that, you know what yeah. I mean? And everything like that. Plus, you know, you had Cena coming back and plus it's LA, big, big stars, bright lights, anyone can show up. So... Cause we're in Hollywood, so that's mainly. I think the hype was the main thing, and plus it's it's in a new stadium, it's in Cali, so it's pretty much the difference, in my opinion. Yeah, in your opinion. Well, that's actually cool because you know, in my opinion, I actually almost think basically the same thing. You know, um, the one thing that I do like about this WrestleMania is it's Hollywood. You know, I've always wanted to go to Hollywood as a kid, dreamed of going to Hollywood, going to Los Angeles. I got to go to the beach, Disneyland. Uh, we got to go to so many other places as well, you know, explore LA, you know, great city to host WrestleMania. And so what I did like about this WrestleMania was my favorite match was actually Rey Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio. I really like that because, you know, like it brings back Eddie Guerrero, you know, like the, the rival, you know, I grew up watching that, you know, that storyline, you know, that they had when Eddie was trying to, you know, convince Dom that he was his dad, you know, <laughs> that was really funny. You know, Dom was so young and I was so young too, you know, but it's crazy how time flies, you know, and now he's actually a WWE superstar and he actually went against his father, which is a WWE Hall of Famer now, you know, he's a headliner. He actually headlined WWE Hall of Fame this year, right? Yes. That's awesome, you know? So, like, that was, like, my favorite match was Ray versus Dom. It was just a good storyline for me, you know? Like, it was a long storyline in the making, you know? Long storyline in the making. But it was an awesome match. I don't, which one was your favorite match? Oh, man. Um... Honestly, it's funny because it was so short. I got to say Brock because Brock's my guy. So... That's the one I'm, I mean, it wasn't like a banger banger. Like, like I would say a good one. Well, okay, I have a couple actually. Um, the Bianca one had me in the edge of my seat. Bianca, Oscar, Edge and Balor, that was, that took the cake. And 
also the triple threat with the IC title with Gunther, um, Sheamus, and Drew. Those but those were good ones. But I I mean Brock is my dude, so I gotta go with that one. Yeah, he, he dominated. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. There you go. So that's awesome. You know, one match I did predict uh, was the John Cena versus Austin Theory. I was like, there's no way John Cena is gonna win. When Austin Theory is the future of WWE. Come on, man. A-Town down. Your boy, A-Town down. Austin Theory, you know, I truly do believe he, he is getting better. Uh, every single day, every week, he's getting better. And we actually saw him walking in downtown. Downtown Los Angeles Los yesterday. Angeles, you know, he was... He was walking. I'm on not gonna our, say, on I'm gonna say what he was doing, but he was walking. It was on our way to the Santa Monica Pier. But yeah. Now, like I said, he is a really good superstar, so congratulations to Austin Theory on winning that match, retaining his United States champion against one of the greatest of all time, John Cena. You know, John Cena is really good. Hopefully, we get to see him really soon, too, as well. Yeah. Now, were you mad about that match? It upsets me when I kind of see him lose. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, he has to put the young stars over, but um, it's like he used to be super senior for so many years, dominating and holding the company on his back as the face of the company. And now when he comes back, it's like he forgot how to win. And it kind of sucks, you know, that to see my hero go out like that. And another thing, I don't I don't really like Austin. You know, I don't think he should have been the one to, to beat him, but it is what it is. So we'll see what happens. He's being pushed and that's, that, that's what it is. So I have to accept it, but it did kind of hurt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, to be honest, in my opinion, uh, Brian, I think John Cena doesn't have anything else to prove that he is one of the greatest of all time. I think John Cena has already proven to us that he is one of the greatest of all time. Him tying his the record with Ric Flair also proves it. Hopefully he gets to break it one day. You know, mm -hmm. I would love to see that, you know, one of the greatest of all time, John Cena. Well, everybody likes John Cena. John Cena is always going to be here with WWE. Now, like, let's talk about Edge versus the Demon Finn Balor. You know, I actually recorded that little clip. Let me show you out of that little clip. That's crazy. Did you see that? Edge actually, you know, from the top of the ladder. You know, that was awesome. You know, Edge actually ended up winning that match. He's with that chair. You know, he, ah, boy. And I don't know what he's going to do anymore, guys. But we have to see and tune in for Monday Night Raw tonight. All right, guys. So now we're going to talk about Cody versus Roman Reigns. Now, me personally, I already knew Roman Reigns was going to win. You know, um, did I want him to win personally? I mean, it's just... He's really good. He's really good, you know. He's he's actually really good. Roman Reigns, I acknowledge you. Now, Cody Rose, now, I mean, he's going to be a champion one day, but I don't think it's time yet. I don't think. I think he has to, uh, you know, like keep building and building and building to earn that, you know, because sometimes you can't always make it the first time. You have to go. You have to try so many times, you know. So, I mean, his time will come. But for right now, your world champion, undisputed universal championship, is Roman Reigns. You know, he's holding that titles. Actually, those titles. You know. What do you think about that? Um, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. Um, damn. I I just feel like. Since night one, we had, you know, because I, before going in, I was saying this is the culmination where even with The Rock, Rock or no Rock, the story is going to be finished at WrestleMania 39 and it's going to come full circle. Um, Bloodlines are going to come full circle and finish because it, it's time. It's been long enough. The rain needs to come to an end. It's getting stale now. People are getting tired. I mean, they still have a good amount of fans, but... It's like, okay, the story, you know what I mean? It would have been a happy ending story and Cody could have did it for Dusty and, you know, walked walked off into the sunset. I mean, but I kind of do hear what, you know, he's saying because it makes more sense. Now that I think about it, I kind of can look back and say, you know what? It's going to be a slower build. 
he's gonna have to redeem himself now and finally get it. He has to climb the mountain. They're not gonna make it so easy for Cody. He has he's gonna have to earn it. And I feel like beating Seth Rollins three times in a row hasn't earned it. It was incredible what he did at Hell in a Cell, but that's not enough to earn the 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 undisputed you know belts. You know, so he his time will come. It just wasn't last night, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, it wasn't last night, guys. But, you know, guys, we're going to show you guys some clips that I actually recorded at WrestleMania being here for the weekend at SoFi Stadium, guys. So we're going to show you these clips. So stay tuned. There is only one everything hope you guys like this video and i wish you guys the best and like and subscribe and share guys and until the next one